Well, hello, YouTube. It has been, it's been a minute since I have done an update. It's been wild. It's been real wild the last six-ish months. So this video is just going to be an update on everything that's been going on with my health. This video is about my health, what's changed, what we found out in CT scans, and how I've lost weight. Um, but the big preface on this video is I don't want anyone thinking it's a medication that has made me lose weight. It has been... A whole, a whole slew of things, and that is what we are talking about. Okay, okay, let's get into this. Before you guys watch the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the button so you don't miss out on anything. And yeah, if you follow me on Instagram at KristaCox3, <laughs> go follow me if you don't. I have been updating there on health issues and stuff that I've been having. If we go back to April, September. So yeah, it's been about six months. This is the post. Six months ago, I started having a lot of health issues. Um, my thyroid went off. I tried to switch medications. Um, I tried to switch from... Synthroid is what I normally use for my thyroid. And I tried to switch from that to Armour, which is a natural thyroid. It's making like a pig hormone versus a synthetic. <laughs> Long story short, it went off. It went crazy. Um, I started gaining weight like crazy. I, I gained nine pounds in about one week, which is very abnormal, you guys. I didn't change anything in my routine. I didn't change anything I was eating. I didn't change my workout habits. I live a healthy lifestyle, so I don't like diet and exercise as punishment. Like, I, I that's my lifestyle. So I generally try to eat uh, clean, maybe like 90% of the time, and gym about three to five days a week. Things just got real crazy, real wild. I was very MIA on Instagram for a hot minute. I talked about how I've increased my cardio, I cut out carbs, I was trying everything and I just could not lose that nine pounds. And then on top of that, I just kept gaining. So I think I ended up gaining about 17 pounds altogether. I'm five, I'm almost 5'8", I am taller. I do carry my weight differently. So people who knew me in real life were like, you look fine, I can't even tell. But like, I could feel it in my clothes. I felt disgusting, like even in my leggings. Like, y'all, when you don't fit into your stretchy pants, that's rough. Okay. Um, I posted on July 9th, just the 10 pound difference. Um, it really wasn't that bad, you know, And but then things got worse. I posted on August 6th this comparison of um, how bad things got and it was like a week's difference. So this is the post that I did talking about um, how I had the weight I had gained. I did gain um, 15 pounds um, and then I mentioned I, my doctor. I went, I went to a new doctor and I started going to him for my thyroid as well. And I mentioned that he started me on a new medication that we were gonna try out and then that's kind of how I like leaned out a little bit. And everyone wanted to know about it and knew what the, know what the medication is. So I promised you guys I was going to do a video on it. So that's what this is going to be about. Because it's not just that he started me on this new medication. And there's nothing out there that's going to be, hey, let me prescribe you this and you're going to lose weight. It doesn't work that way. Um, and I don't really want to talk about medications and medication names where I'm not a doctor. Also, YouTube likes to flag videos for the silliest reasons, so I don't want to talk about medications. If you're looking just to know a name of a medication that's going to lose your weight, lose weight, this isn't. This isn't what this video is about because that's not what happened. I, I had to really like change everything. So I got started on a new medication. I've been doing blood work for my thyroid. He switched me back to Synthroid. Long story short, my thyroid is leveled out now. So that is that has been the biggest culprit. So I don't want anyone to think that like something magical happened and that's how I lost all the weight. No, I got my thyroid on track and that's how I've like leaned back out. But the biggest things I have done is I have started like a more intense intermittent fasting. I've talked about that before, but I started more in intense intermittent fasting. So basically, I don't eat until about 1 p.m., which is a little bit more different for me. And in between there as well, I'd had CT scans, more blood work, things like that. And um, I'll talk about the CT scan in the minute of what they found. Because I had mentioned that in my last post. Um, intermittent fasting. I'm doing my shakes again. The cleanse, the, the shake and cleanse system that I do. Again, I don't, you guys, I don't sell it. I, I can, I can give you my link to buy from me and I would appreciate that if you bought from me, but I don't tell you about these things because I'm trying to sell to you, like that's just what I'm doing. So like I have to be honest with what I'm doing. So I know people are going to ask specifics on what I'm eating, things like that. So I don't eat till about one and then I'll do a shake. A couple hours later I'll have like a vegan burger on lettuce 
with sriracha and hummus. A couple hours later, I'll eat dinner with my family, and usually whatever we have for dinner, I will substitute out the carbs for either jasmine rice, I think is what I've been doing, or rice cakes, things like that. So I'm not doing no carb, low carb, like the shakes that I do have carbs, so I, I still am doing carbs. I mentioned that I went very low carb, low to no carb, but I forgot that the shakes I do definitely have carbs in it, so. And I'm still going to the gym. I've, I'm not doing like cardio. Previous post from months ago, I did mention that I've started fasted cardio. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not doing that no more. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing to lose the weight. As of right now, I am down 13 pounds. I was 14 pounds down, but I gained one back this weekend. So as of right, right now, I'm about 13 pounds down from when I, where I gained all the weight, but that puts me back at where I was before I gained all the weight. So I still have about like 20 more that I want to lose as far as where I was at when I first started my nutritional cleansing system. So that's the game plan. But um, yeah, so let's talk about the CT scan. So in the CT scan, my doctor called me and he's noticed that there was abnormal signals or something from my liver or going to my liver. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. And he said that basically it looked to be enlarged and he said it was almost like it was like a fatty buildup or that's what he was assuming. I should really record my doctor visits because I don't, I listen, but I don't. I just panic. <laughs> so he ordered blood work because of that and my blood work came back and basically what he discovered, he said he doesn't know if this is the reason why I'm having all these health issues and gaining all the weight and things like that, but this is gonna be a good place to start. But what he discovered is that my cholesterol is super high, which my dad has super high cholesterol, so I figured it was hereditary and he did say with how high the numbers are that it is hereditary that especially with my lifestyle with going to the gym and how I eat and stuff it is very unlikely that it was diet that did that it's very unlikely that if I just changed my diet and went to the gym more that I could fix my cholesterol um, because of how bad it was and so he has started me on another medication which is just to help with your cholesterol it's, I think it's like a calcium something but like I said, I don't want to talk specifics of medication, but I think that's basically what it is. So I have now started that as well, and I think that has incorporated into the last like four four pounds that I've lost. But yeah, so I am feeling a lot leaner. Basically what he told me is that my cholesterol levels are so high that I am in a range that I am very, very high risk for heart attack and stroke. Obviously, I mean, that's kind of what high cholesterol is. Um, clogged arteries. Basically he said what's happening is I'm I'm getting visceral fat. So I've also had the tummy tuck. And so what I also want to talk about the tummy tuck side of things because that is very common with a tummy tuck. When you have that portion of your skin removed, the fat cells are removed with that. And most of the time you have liposuction done as well. So basically when those fat cells are removed, your body will store fat elsewhere. So you'll start carrying fat on different places of your body, but the most dangerous one and most common one is you start carrying it internally, which is called visceral fat. And that is the most dangerous fat. Only diet and exercise can get rid of that. There is no liposuction, there is no nothing. You can't get rid of that any other way. So as of right now, all I'm doing is I'm continuing my intermittent fasting, my shakes. My shakes are a cleansing system as well. So I'm gonna crack down on the cleansing portion because the cleanse is gonna be what is going to probably save my life <laughs> to be honest because it's so good at getting toxins and stuff out of your body and that's probably what's going to help because as of right now what I'm mostly experiencing is I don't feel like I'm getting fat or that I'm fat or nothing I don't feel like a difference on the outside it, it really does feel all internal I've gone to my OB to check for endometriosis my sister has that so that is something in the family but the only way to do that is by surgery scopes whatever I guess you can do ultrasounds there's but it's very unlikely they could find it. Anyway, you guys, there has just been a whirlwind of questions, things I'm trying to find out. I did go to my OB, ask them about that. The CT scan, blood work, it's just been a crazy ride for the last six months. But I am at the point, I feel like I'm back to normal. Just gonna get my cholesterol. Of course, I'm cutting out um, dairy as best I can. These are things that just help cholesterol. I got I bought some Cheerios, don't worry, I bought some Cheerios. Like with butters and stuff, they have the low cholesterol butters, which you have to be careful with things like that, read the ingredients. I'm trying to cut out oils, like vegetable oils, even coconut oil, I used to cook with that. I'm having to cut that out. I just Googled a bunch of stuff that I could do to help out with my cholesterol. So, that's my update. That's all I've been doing. Um, I, do, I did want to talk about the tummy tuck portion. I think this is getting a little long, so I'm gonna do a separate video on weight gain and loss after a tummy tuck. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on because it's real fun. It's just wicked wild, it's great. It's been a really great time. 
it's been a really great time. I have been a whirlwind of, of emotions. Your thyroid affects way more than your weight. It affects your mood, it affects your hair. Um, I've been getting like, uh, not bald spots, but I'm just noticing spots of where I can see my scalp, which I've never had to deal with that because my hair's always been so thick. My hair is falling out rapidly. You guys, it has just been a crazy year as far as my health. And of course that stresses me out. Stress is another huge thing for cholesterol and those numbers. My triglycerides were high too. None of it really makes sense because like I'm generally a really healthy person. So it's just, it's just crazy, you know, what life hands you. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up though. I, that, I wanted to make this video because I didn't want people thinking that it was a medication that made me lose weight because I, I had a ton of people messaging me and asking me questions and I'm sorry if I never got back to you but I got like bombarded with the question and I'm not a doctor and I don't feel comfortable being like, yeah, this is what I, this is what I did and have people thinking that they can go out and do that. So intermittent fasting, my meal replacement system, so my shakes, cutting out dairy, going to the gym still, drinking lots of water. So that's my story. So right now I am about 13 pounds down. I have about 15, 20 till I'm at my goal. Of course I'll keep you guys updated, but I do appreciate your guys' continued love and support though. All of your comments on Instagram. I do read them all if I don't, I try to get back to everyone I do, but if I don't, I, I just know that I do read them. I do appreciate them. I appreciate people who are loving and supportive. It's hard to put yourself out there and be vulnerable like that. But yeah, you guys are amazing. Anyway. That's it. You guys know the drill. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Click the little bell so you actually get notified. Algorithm mess is everywhere. So if you want to see anything that I do, you have to hit the bell. Please like the video. That really helps and supports my channel. And all the links to my social medias are in the description below. It's been real. It's been fun. I love you all. Until next time. <laughs> Tag